trying to think of an intro here. I'm trying to think what. Oh boy, he's on the spot. He doesn't have an intro. <laughs> can this be? Can this be the intro? Can this be that we don't have an intro? We don't have an intro. <laughs> We were waiting for the boys to get everything done, and he didn't get you come see, up with an you intro. You see, as, as long as we had to wait for you guys, <laughs> we didn't ready. think of an intro. Still not prepared. Well, then we'll just go right into it. This is the uh, Bears Blue Line. This is a brand new podcast presented by Chocolate Hockey in conjunction with the Hershey Bears. I'm Kyle Mace, editor in chief of Chocolate Hockey. I'm joined by Zach Fish, voice of the Hershey Bears. Good to be here. Excited for this. Uh, we got some good personalities on our team this year. And I think, uh, as Kyle talked about, this podcast is going to be not necessarily about what goes on on the ice. We'll talk about it a little bit, but, you know, these guys are good buddies and outside the rink and with the boys, we're going to have guests throughout the year. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good ride and, and looking forward to it, looking forward to having it on Chocolate Hockey and on Hershey Bears social media and our website too. Well, our hosts, first off, Hershey Bears defenseman Colby Williams. Hi. Hello. Glad to be here. <laughs> and Hershey Bears defenseman Connor Hobbs. H- hello, guys. So we've been pumping this for a bit here, and these guys are pretty excited. So, I mean, we had to wait a little bit to get going here today. I had to wait oh, way yeah. too long. It took a while. So what, <laughs> what what's going on in today in the life of the Hershey Bears? We've got practice today, but there's a lot a lot of stuff sitting here setting up. We still didn't even come up with an intro. What's what's the day been like? I'll let you guys kind of just roll from there. Well, well, today we planned on getting out of the apartment at 7:20, and. Uh, <laughs> I got a text saying all it said was 7:30, so it was a little bit of a slow, slow to start day. off. Yeah, um, but we got out of the house and got here and practiced, and then well, no, we worked out and then practiced. Worked out little D skills, and then we did the we our body fat today, which wow, Hobbsy cool. actually roasted me in the body fat. Yeah, but we found out there might be a bit of a discrepancy with the bod pod. Yeah, Hobbsy has a body hair of a gorilla. Yeah, I mean, so I'm hairy. Like they, and they and they say that it, the more hair you have, it helps you with your body fat in this test. Yeah, it so, lowers your body fat if you have body hair. So mine is like so he's at I'm like one percent right now. Yeah, like I'm trim, Willie. You know, he's shooting got, through the roof compared to him. He's got not a hair on his body. Yeah, and it's like besides my mo. Well, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, but at least I started the first day. Hobbsy so started going to come up right last now last October. Okay, so so yeah, so my mustache obviously pretty awesome. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome. But guys are are angry about it because I didn't start fresh at at just you know right down to nothing on November first. They're they're angry. They're just jealous of how thick it is. Like that's what it is. Well, you had to commit for the Halloween costume too. Yeah, right? that's right. Guys thought that I was wearing a well, fake mustache. Some would argue I had more commitment because I wore a fake beard for about oh, yeah. twenty minutes. Oh my the god. Night, but. <laughs> Talk about your fake beard. You gotta tell the people about your beard. Um, well, came out of a package. Unsure about how how it was gonna turn out. Um, the mouth hole was about this big, so I was this eating is, hair. By the way, this is audio, so we can't see how big. Oh, about the size of a dime. Right. Yeah. About the size of the circumference of your pointer finger, maybe. Yeah. And uh, you know. And you ate a lot of hair, so I was getting a lot of protein. And oh man! It, but it was on the top of my head for most of the night. But when you like had the beard it down, was on the top of your yeah, head. it was too just much. sitting. Yeah, but when you had it down, down here, it, it kind of had like oh, a little like, neck beard. Like it was like a full. It looked like a rug with a hole in it, basically. Yeah, it wasn't what it was, yet. and it was bought from a store. That's your problem. You bought it from a store. You could buy them from a store. He can't make it oh. himself. We See, I made like, mine myself. We bought it like two hours before the thing. <laughs> we had some good costumes though. They were uh, the Scooby Doo clan. Yeah. Barb's and Tuna and their dates. Yeah, they were Fred and, uh, and um, Daphne and Scooby and uh, Velma. Yeah. Those are the names. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pretty good. Maxie was po- the Pope. Oh. Camera. That was a good one. It kind of suits him. He walked Bible around with guy. a Bible. Bible on the whole time, the whole night. And, uh, oh, and Magna. Magna was the beekeeper, and his wife was the queen bee. Yeah. So that, yeah, I thought that one was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Oh, and uh, Jeremy Morin was Squint's Paladoris from the Sandlot. And What's it, your opinion on the Sandlot? Oh, I love the Sandlot. We watched okay. it the other day. Yeah, we did. Unreal. Great movie. What, is it not Cause, good? No, because my dad had never seen it, and he's like, I don't know what this movie is. I'm like, this is like the greatest baseball movie of all time. 
Oh, it's unbelievable. I would say Major League yeah, is probably that's, that's, Major League. That's, my, that's my favorite. But yeah, Major League. I mean, that's, you know, that's so quotable. But so is Sandlot. Sandlot's quotable. They go to Major League Two though. They took it for an R movie to a PG movie. Like it, I know there's some quotables in Major League Two, but it's not just, quite as good. Not, not the same. But, you, but, you've seen Major League Two, Willie, haven't you? We watched it on the bus in Regina. You don't remember. I'm not sure. I'm not a, I'm not a big movie guy. You, you want the Major League Two connection to this area is that the spring training scenes were filmed in Harrisburg. Oh, on really? On Island. And my father was almost an extra in the movie. No way. They were almost. They for people to do it, yes. So they had him wait around all day long. <laughs> he was a double extra. He was so close. <laughs> they had him wait around all day long. He was in the bullpen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But they had him wait around all day long. Ooh, they pun. never filmed anything. And they're like, here's your money and... You're not going to be in the movie. They so he didn't him. do anything. Oh, oh, they really? still paid they still him. Still paid him, yeah. Oh, get us on a couple movie sets. Yeah. I won't do anything. We got all. nothing to do. Yeah, we got nothing going on. We play Fortnite all day. Let's talk about that. Well, yeah. I, mean, we, I, I said, you know, this lifestyle. We're, we're recording this at what? Pre-2 o'clock here. So you guys come in. You work your tails off in the morning. Got a lot of miles on the bus. But what do guys do in their free time? I mean, you got... All afternoon, most afternoons, unless you're at a community event, which we do quite a bit of, where you kind of got it free time. How do you keep yourself busy now that it's not the junior life and you're living on your own? Yeah. Um, well, at the start of the year, we were kind of busy doing around getting our place together. That's true. Um, but these days, you know, we do play a lot of video games, try to have lunch together with the boys and come back maybe play a few video games for an hour or two or whatever and, and then go over dinner and, or or make dinner and depends. we watched willie and i wa we like watching shows together like tv shows oh yeah yeah. this year we already finished it we f we watched ozark have you guys ever seen ozark with jason I bateman in the ozark i hear that show is sick oh you went just, to the ozarks yeah that's where my, my parents tell us right about now. it well it's well, there's a lot of things there there's a sign on it that says views in the ozark tv show so i gotta check out the show now oh man like it was an arcade that they were in with a wrestling guy and you've never seen ozark you gotta watch it, it. No, you gotta watch it and i'm a big oh, jason bateman fan oh so. he's awesome it on netflix yeah, it's twisted. Get someone's password at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's, it's a twisted I'm show. Cheap. We don't broadcasters. You know, I got a family pack. Right, you could no probably there we go. log in. Jump there. me on. We're all yeah. part of the family here. Yeah. So what do you mean getting your place together? Were you guys like pillow shopping? What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, oh, we had a couple excursions. And we, not for we, us. Like. Yeah, and Hobbsy has a truck, so everyone's asking Hobbsy and whatever to use his truck, but which I have no problem with at yeah. all. It's just like I don't. I mean, wanna be, you know, the fourth you know, and fifth hour it. in Bed Bath and Beyond with Maxi is, you know, might be pushing it. But. I have never been a part of something so horrible in my life. Okay, I I'm I hate shopping. I I can't stand it. Yeah, yeah. Like I just I'm the guy who sits on the stool, you know, like just just goes and finds a place to sit because I can't just stand and look at stuff, you know. And we got Willie and Maxi, you know. Wi Willie's he likes shopping. Yeah. But this. My big browser. This was browsing, like to the max with maxi whoa wow what what a pun is that a pun i don't know what that is it's a play on words yes it was to the max with maxi maximilian like yeah. i was at my maximum with maximilian yeah like but you like know he, what he was counting every thread of the thread count of his yeah. sheet i think he had about four different sheets in and out of the cart like cycling yeah. in between yeah I, I almost threw up from anger i know and he made the guy go grab a few out of the back, and then he'd lay on. He'd be like, "No, nah, that's not good." <laughs> oh but my god! I have a little bit more patience for that stuff. Hobbsy is—he's uh, kind of an in and out kind of guy. But uh, yeah, I know that that might have been uh, top of my limit for sure. Oh, All, Bed Bath Beyond, awesome unreal, store. unreal. Yeah, great store, great spot. But you know that might have been a little. Like I like Bath and Beyond, you know, and that was just not way a fan too of the much. Bed part, though. Like well, I I was almost falling <laughs> or asleep. Beyond. Yeah, he's like I almost fell asleep beyond. there, if I wouldn't have been so like rattled. Just the bath part. You and I was hungry too. I was shopping hungry. So was Willie. Yeah. Because we had been doing stuff before that, hadn't we? Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, like we at the start of the year, we helped out with that stuff. But um, we threw a couple paintings on our walls and got our coaches together and yeah. built a few tables and nightstands. What else you built? We built those chairs. Chairs. We got a new glass rack. table. Oh, sick addition to the oh, place. The what? glass table. Oh, yeah. Sick. Yeah, but it's coming together. We yeah. got a new place on the other side of the... Other side of the tracks. 
Am I living there? That, that's that's the best way to oh, okay. the other side of the tracks. Yeah, yeah. Give out giving out our address to Too many public. people know where we live already. Yeah, we got a couple guys around our neighborhood that are fans. Yeah. Trigger readers. Actually Oh, you know what? We messed up. Yeah. Year. Oh no. We well, back home. Which this is... It's, it's probably the rest of the world. Well, yeah, maybe the rest of the world besides Pennsylvania does trick-or-treating on the 31st. You know. Oh, is it not on the 30th? It was 31st where I lived. Not really? here. Here was a Thursday. Like, it's the like, 26th. And little kids are knocking on our door and we're like... We don't have candy. Sorry, guys. Like, like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You want some fruit? You know, your costumes are awesome. You're like, you know... Yeah, what did you give them? Okay, we got okay. fruit. <laughs> Yeah, no, they're. I I couldn't even go to the door. I made Hobbsy go. I couldn't. I couldn't crush the kids. Well, the kids just looked at me like I was the Grinch <laughs> of Halloween. Like, yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's it's the 25th. Yeah, a full like seven days. Like before. honestly, a full week before. And they just kept coming. There was there was quite a few in our neighborhood, and they're awesome costumes. Like wow. Yeah. Why do you for keep answering the door though? Well, I'm well, not just kept, because they're kids. It was like six o'clock, the light or five o'clock, maybe the like sun still out. They would have came around the corner and seen Willie and I watching Ozark and been like, "Those guys are the worst." <laughs> if yeah. we didn't come, we to could the door. see your home. They're banging on their door. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Sorry, guys, don't have any candy. Like, I don't know. I bad. just I couldn't do oh, it. I, I didn't just, have the heart for it. I just BS'd them pretty much. But uh, yeah, I mean, Halloween, <laughs> interesting time. We're gonna put the Christmas tree up today. Yeah. 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 Early. We yeah, are. Uh, What's we're, your take on that? I mean, I'm a big after Thanksgiving guy, but the world is just well. Our Thanksgiving already happened, yeah. so it's That's different true. for us, you know. Touché. I was no, playing Christmas huge. music this morning. Yeah, he was actually got me fired up. Yeah. I could do Christmas right after Halloween, probably. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, you are. You're yeah, we're doing it. Well, yeah. What is it today? The four, fourteenth, fifteenth. Fourteen. Oh, see, this is kind of late. I looked at my. Wait a Your second. Your memories? I, I have my Snapchat memories I looked at this morning when I woke up. I think it was later last year. Flashback from November 14th. So that was today. Today. Okay. Look at that tree. That's not bad, actually. I guess you guys can't see it on the, the thing. <laughs> We're going to have to get used to it, yeah. Just explain yeah, it to them. Well, okay, well, I mean, we have the tinsel. Is that what it's called? Tinsel? Yeah. Sure. Tinsel, lights. Real tree or fake tree? Oh, fake. it's fake. It's fake. We we can't be. Ta I can hardly take care of myself. Back home, we'd always get a real one. Yeah, it's true. Well, you just go outside and cut it down, probably. <laughs> However, yeah. that total stereotypical. <laughs> is that just a total. Yeah, that's a bit much. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. If we don't. <laughs> we lived in the city. Okay. Fish. My bad. That's my true. Bad. Um, <laughs> Might have been my family had real ones. Not. Obviously, throw on the flannel. Got the axe. No. <laughs> we dragged I, it into the yeah. village. Well, I'm sure you'd like to do that, but no. I mean, yeah. I don't know if that's allowed in the city. No, yeah, I don't think so. You can't, you can't just be chopping down trees left and right. No, unless unless it's on your yard, maybe. See, I've learned something today. I need to get up and get there. And well, I mean, we immerse myself. And <laughs> have you be... been to Canada at all? Other besides than the trips, yeah, I've been you to guys Canada. Playing Canada. Yeah, besides yeah. our that trips, count. Yeah, I've been to Canada. On the besides trips. our trips, been to Canada. I've been to Thunder Bay. Um, that was where I first went. That was a baseball trip with the baseball. Thunder team. Bay, Saskatchewan. Thunder Bay, yeah. Been to Thunder Bay. Did some baseball. Thunder Bay, there. Saskatchewan. No, that's. Uh, no, I'll, I'll eat in Ontario. <laughs> yeah. yeah, normal Thunder Bay. Oh, okay. okay. Where's Thunder Bay, Saskatchewan? That just... uh, I have no clue. I was just hoping Hobbsy was right there. Okay. Yeah, there is a Thunder Bay, Saskatchewan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, where all the stalls are from. Fact. Is that a big, uh, big mural of all hey, the Hey, funny thing about Hobbsy's 100% guarantees, <laughs> they're about 25% right now. Oh. <laughs> so when he, yeah. when he says 100% guarantee, giving you the Chobbs guarantee, <laughs> yeah, phew, take it with a grain of salt because he's about 25% right now. <laughs> I have been on a cold streak with my guarantees yeah. lately. This day and age, you can just guarantee it. Yeah, you can just fact it check it on Google, but I like to think of myself as like a walking Google. But So I imagine you guys are just busting on each other all day. Like uh, you, were, you already did earlier and you came in here. Hobbs, you came in here. We're set, waiting to set up the podcast. You mentioned he's he's got a little bit of hair. He had not put his shirt on yet, so he's got quite. <laughs> did you quite, see him? Did you the, see him? Well, I've been around the room a time or yeah. two. You're not, oh, did I come out here with bird watching? Oh. But you know they uh, they got uh, he comes out and he's got got the chest hair and is like boys. Willie just takes forever. Like we'll get into <laughs> we'll get into this here. So we're getting into it. Yeah. Well, Willie's not the quickest. You know, like he he takes his time with stuff. You know, he's. Uh, it's not a bad thing, you know. 
<laughs> he's always backing down. I don't want a <laughs> sewer. Uh, he, heard yeah, he was all ready to come out firing. Well, he's slow. Who? You. Like, no. if we need to go do something, it's like, meh. Yeah, if it's not like a set time, I'm a super ish guy. Yeah, ish. Like a seven thirty ish. Ish. You know, you know, I'll get there, but it's like, eh, ish. Especially in the mornings, you guys both aren't morning well, people, are you? No, in the mornings we're good at usually. We're morning people, I think. Yeah, yeah. To an extent, like nobody's a morning person. Yeah, whoever tells you they're a morning person is a liar. Yeah, like we did, the, we did the morning shows with the TV stations this year, and these two guys were unfortunately the. Oh, you got Brian picked? Helmer selected them as the sacrificial lambs because they're good talkers. As we have this podcast, they've mm. been here; they're familiar faces. And I was like, "Yeah, I need you guys there in the six a.m. hour." And they both looked at me like I had four heads. I was there at four, and I felt it, man. Like it's <laughs> that's tough. I don't know how well, people do it. Like the toughest part about that on, like, is that you're there at five forty-five in the morning. And you're on TV for like four seconds. Yeah, I but remember watching your interview. TV. You were like, "It's like a snippet." It's like, "Oh, do you like hockey? Yeah, I like hockey." And then put that Hansi, on the, the he's thing. He's like texting me all worried about like, "Hey, do I bring my? I need. Do I need to wear anything?" I'm like, "No, no, you're good. I got your jersey." You're like, "Oh, it's on this on the sheet of paper you gave me. My bad." Then you get there, didn't even give you your jersey. I didn't have a jersey. do all this. Jersey yeah. sitting in the back seat of my car. Willie gets there the next day. He got my jersey. I'm like, "Holy cow! I didn't even get hot." Oh. <laughs> just brutal. Just brutal. Bad work on my part. Yeah, but yeah you're, you're on there for four minutes. I'm like, yeah, it's a lot of sitting and waiting. But those people, mad respect. When's the the old barn show? We got to go on there. You know where that starts? Uh, I think that one. The next one's in November. The live one. We'll get did, the boys. Did did uh, did it start already? Yeah, we had one. It was the coaches and Megs. Oh really? Uh, yeah, Jason Meg. But Carbs got to get the coaches and juiced out there. And yeah. people love Weller. Like Wellsy. I mean, yeah. People got the. Got everything on Wellesy because he was here for so long. Although, yeah, I hear people are digging up dude on Wellesy from where he's we, yeah, yeah, we <laughs> sat beside uh, one of the Booster Club members and she had a lot of dirt on Wellesy. Yeah, we see, we saw a picture of Wellesy with hair on his head. So, if that doesn't say dirt, I don't know. Like, that's yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good. It and it's good because Wellesy is one of the biggest chirpers on our team and he comes at us. Oh, so man. it's good to have a little pocket ammo. You can just fire back at him. It's relentless. It's 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 constant with me. It I love it though. You, you got to feed off it, you know. It's all for fun, but we'll like we'll have to get him on. We'll the have show. to have him on the show then. He so, won't. He? Absolutely. What did he say? He was chirping us. We remember. We said I don't we, we said you want to come on our podcast, and he goes, <laughs> oh, he's chirping <laughs> us. That's actually how he looks, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see us though. Bad for imitation. We'll here. have to do some video podcast. <laughs> but I want to go back to the Fortnite thing because that's a hot topic right now with like yep. hockey players and everything. Yeah. Um, are you okay? Well, first question is who's the better Fortnite player between the two of you? We're different uh, players. We're different. Yeah. We're different players. I'm more of a builder. Like he's smart, strategic player, and Hobbsy's a gunner. Like okay. he's unreal at Call of Duty. I'll give him that. Really? I didn't know you th- thought that about me. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, he logged a lot of hours oh last year God. when he had a broken arm and whatever else he heard. Like, good thing I could still use my, my gaming hands when I oh, broke my arm last year. you controller people, though. Yeah, oh, we yeah. don't Not play with the keyboard, keyboard no. stuff. We're PlayStation. Never been a computer you guy. You can still use mouse and keyboard in PlayStation. I, uh, I just don't know if I could teach myself how to do it. I'd, yeah. I'd fall too far behind the eight ball, you know? That's the thing with Fortnite. The guys are so good now. It's crazy. Oh, like unreal. If you're just starting Fortnite now, forget about it. When did you guys start playing? Because I remember I when when we did the chocolate hockey plays, I told Barb's about Fortnite like two weeks after it came out. Oh it's yeah. Like, oh, this is like yeah, internet. and then it blew up into the thing it was. Yeah, I we think probably started after the first season. You know who told us about it was Tuna. Was it? Tuna was like, oh, man, you got to check out this yeah. new game. And usually when Tuna says to check something out, we're like, eh. You know, we're a little hesitant because it's not always. I hate it at the start. I yeah, we it. sucked at it. We didn't win for like a month, and we were trying hard. Duos? Duos, yeah. I seen Colby break a controller with his hands like this. It's like, I guess you can't see. He's holding the controller, <laughs> and he, curve, he snapped the controller in half with two hands. Because broke it like piece of breaking a piece of bread. Yeah, but yeah, cracking bread. He was breaking bread, but it was a plastic controller. Yeah, I was uh, upset. I guess you could say. Well, we're we're into what we do, you know. 
Yeah, everything everything we do, we do it pretty passionately. So sometimes yeah. it comes out. But we we've been pretty good though. Like, how many wins do you think we got? Yeah, we're we're a good team. We got a good squad. Like we play with uh, Lewington and Nash, Johansson, Pino. Yeah, Ma- Pins is a has been a good uh, addition to yeah. our squad. Mags is is getting in there. We haven't played with him yet, but I heard he's he's into it and uh, walks walks. Yeah, JoJo is good. <laughs> like half our team. Lucas is, is good. Yeah, Luke's good. So Vancouver is not going to be, you know, interested in your guys' services anytime soon. This is what I'm hearing. I heard they're not into Fortnite, the, the Canucks. Oh yeah, I heard there was a little back and forth there with. Uh, but I mean, like, we when we say that's all we do, like it's just like, it's not like it comes before hockey or anything. But you guys aren't staying up till like 4 a.m. No, no, we're midday players. Yeah, like we play during we don't the play day. play after dinner. It's best time no. to play though. Yeah, like after supper, we're not playing. <laughs> I guess at dinner. So I, somebody made fun of me for calling it supper the other day. Did you know that supper? it's it's it's, it's not s- s- supper? Why can't it be supper? Somebody made fun of me and said, "What are it's you like ten? A soda pop thing like Midwest? My wife's whole family, seventy person family. It's supper. Like they even call like sometimes lunch, dinner. Yeah, I got dinner coming up. It's one o'clock. That's not dinner. Like well, supper is at five. Yeah. What what the hell is supper? Like it's just I don't. Know. You don't know what like you've never heard no, supper no, before. I mean, it just, oh, yeah. It's it's just different. I would just never call it that. It was. You know what I? Dinner. I would get. Um, I would say, can I go to the washroom, which is like a bathroom, <laughs> and so in Canada, that's just what you say. Can I go to the washroom? But in a restaurant, I'm like, where's the washroom? And they're like, what? the washroom. Could you like it from Mars? Yesterday, at, uh, for Mitchie Mason Mitchell, we we're at the Milton Hershey School, and uh, the kid was leading us around. He's like, yeah, where's your washroom? Like, what? Like showers? Like no, like bathroom. Oh, your your bathroom. Sorry, I'm Canadian. Well, yeah. I mean, bath room, wash room. Yeah, you know. Uh, I mean, it all makes sense. Eh? Where's the Rest lavatory? Room. You know. Yeah, lavatory. If you want to get really technical, <laughs> put on your spectacles. What's that, that bathroom? One. Yeah, lavatory. That's what they call it in like high school. On like an airplane, you know, the <laughs> lavatory. I didn't know that one. Yeah. yeah. Tamper with the lavatory smoke detectors. <laughs> Those announcements are always normal like this. <laughs> Never. I, I don't know about you guys, but I prefer the bus over the plane. It's such a long day. Like, if you're on a chartered flight, like with the caps, like you are preseason, sick. Yeah. But, like, on a bus, if you're going four hours for a flight, like, I'd rather bus to Charlotte than. I you would rather bus to Charlotte than <laughs> I don't eight agree hours. with that. I, I just fall asleep. Like, to me, I can't sleep you on go the bus. the airport, you put the stuff through. Well, then I got to go unload gear after, which is fine. It's part of it. Like, no matter <laughs> what. But. I, I don't know. It just feels like such a long day through security. and That's uh, true. I mean, for me, it's just it's a little bit much sometimes, but, you know. That's, so you that's would fun. rather bus? I don't know. I mean, I was in junior hockey forever. We bust everywhere just like you guys did. And then oh, did we in ever? the ECHL, oh. like, if you're flying, it's the playoffs when they found some money for you. Like, it was 18 hours from Charleston to Glens Falls, New York, and we left at 9 p.m., and we got there the next day. And that's tough. No food. The guys got on the ice in practice, and – and I remember our assistant coach, Ryan Warsawski, who's now assistant coach in Charlotte, so good for him for moving up. The guys were like, are you serious? Like, we're going on the ice right now. We haven't eaten. He's like, you don't like it? Play better. Move up a league. Play better. Get out of this league. Wow. And it was just a lot of a lot of guys, and it's just a different life. I don't know. I, planes are good, but I've never been on one of those chartered flights. I'm not fancy enough for that yet. Well, so. I can't sleep on a bus. Yeah. Like, I just can't. See, I've taught myself. So I can't I just, do it. So, so I, what do you do? You play – Games on the bus too, a little handheld or listen to podcasts. Wait, listen to podcasts. Yeah. What's your What's your go to podcast then? Do you have the podcast voice? Down? I listen to Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan Experience. That's good. Yeah, like I. He's just, like he's smart. Like, he's he very smart. He's very smart. I don't know. Like I guess yeah, he's smart. Yeah, he, he is. knows a lot of stuff. Or he just talks and says a lot of words that are smart. Or maybe he says a lot of stuff and I just don't question it. And yeah. Well, he's <laughs> got. I mean. Well, I mean, he's usually doing some. He's usually drinking on the show, and yeah, he's Elon Musk s- substances. Yeah. You know, he got in trouble for that, didn't he? Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't really know who that is, really. Elon Musk, no. that's Tesla, man. Well, not. I mean, yeah, he I had know to what step he's down about, or whatever. I don't. I, I didn't he's know a genius. He he's like an inventor, one of the smartest people of our, of our, you know, in the world. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know. Do you Hobbsy guarantee that one? I Hobbsy guarantee. That's 100% guaranteed. Like this is going to become a segment now. Hobbsy guarantee. guarantee. Well, what's the other thing we wanted to do every time we come on here? Have a debate on an animal versus another animal? 
Yeah, we were oh, thinking. Boy. Well, we were thinking of having like a segment, maybe uh, like this versus that, or it could be you know food, or it could be you know, would you rather die burning alive or to drowning to death? Yeah, see, that's a tough one. I don't even know what I would choose it's in that one. Dark here. Yeah. You don't know? <laughs> Good grief. Like I would probably know. rather, I would rather drown probably. But I think drowning is a little better than burning alive. Well, Although I've heard like jumping into a pit of lava, know, but like you're just boom burned are, alive. Are we talking like burning alive, like Anakin episode three? Oh, shard. Well, like, what what's reference? Anakin? You don't, yeah, c- <sighs> oh no! <sighs> I, you what know I have the higher ground. Oh, oh, don't try it. Yeah, Zelda or something. No, <laughs> oh, wow. Zelda. No, I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah, I love I've seen Zelda. a couple of clips you with Hobbs there. Man, you know though. Zelda. I know Zelda, but that's not Zelda. That's Star Wars. There you go. See, yeah, gotcha. but I, I'm not really a huge Star Wars guy. That's Willie's fine. just not a huge yeah. movie guy in general. No, it kind of disappoints me a little bit. Renting movies, going to the movies, just nothing. No, I'll go to movies. I I go. I like going to movies. But I think it's more about just hanging out, yeah. being around people. Like, like I'll say, I'll be like, oh, have you ever seen this movie? And Willie will say, no, like I haven't seen it. 99% of the time. Yeah. A lot of the time. And I'll say why. References of life right here. It'll be like, don't you remember watching that when you were a kid? And you'll be like, no, I was outside playing. What, what, What's wrong with you? Like, what are you doing watching movies? I get that. I, I don't watch a lot of movies. I get like one a year if I'm lucky. One like a year? One? one? Oh, yeah. What are you, I don't See, I mean, time. that's low. That no, is super low. I'm like on the total other end of the spectrum. Like it's my wife and my thing to do. Like we love the theater in Palmyra and it's kind of died off now. They came out with that movie pass about a year ago. They lowered it to 10 bucks. It was a movie a day and you could go to whatever movie you wanted. What? For 10 bucks a month with this movie pass. They send you a debit card. You swipe it. You get an app. For Oof. two people? Yeah. No, for 10 bucks a month a person. Person. So 20 bucks a month for the two of us. It was sick. Now they've limited it. Like you can go to... Next to no movies, it's three movies a month. It's still a good deal, but that'd be good it, for us. But yeah, I was at that theater pretty much every day of the summer until they cut it back. And wow, just anything that's been out, anything that's in the red box now, I've seen because oh, it's just a thing to do. Jeez. But yeah, mm. if you're going to like a real theater now, you're talking fifteen bucks for a ticket. Like if you want to go and splurge on the popcorn and everything, that's another. Well, why else are you going? Like, yeah, you have to talk about the popcorn. Yeah, I mean, it's all about that, right? Yeah. Sorry, Wags, we won't tell you about that one. But they say popcorn is the healthiest snack, but I don't think. Well, when you popcorn. drizzle the butter on it, yeah, probably not. Eh? You're slamming yeah. a Dr Pepper. We've just been all over this. Yeah, episode, big. Kyle, oh, yeah. Like we're gonna be a little more like formatted yeah. and have some guests. Yeah. Going you guys forward. will bring some guests. I on, think yeah. this is a good start. Just go a little bit of everything. I don't know how we got it waterboarded and burning alive, <laughs> but you know what? Uh, yeah. We just got a little bit of everything today so uh, you know that's 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 a good thing well it all started with who would win a grizzly bear or a gorilla that's what our debate has that's, been that that is a main topic in the locker room a lot of the time yeah like it comes up a lot but we Willie can, and I are we both can, we can say that for another episode probably Okay, yeah, we'll that's see. A, that's a full episode. That's, that's a, a that's a double episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, heard it that might be an hour and a half episode just on that. Yeah, and guys get angry. Like, like they, it's like they're we've, supporting a, their politician, you know? Yeah, like, we've watched, like, YouTube videos on each Like, we're studying the animals thing. Thing. Well, at this okay. point. Well, so, YouTube videos, conspiracy theories. Oh, no, don't no? open oh, that. Oh, yeah, okay. I've watched so a lot of that podcast. stuff. I haven't even touched that. Holy I've podcast. watched a lot of those. We're laying, the, we're laying the seeds here. And I'm so gullible with that stuff. Like, ugh. Yeah, I'm pretty gullible, too. Have you ever Speaking seen the movie Zeitgeist? Gullible? Okay, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Which route are we going down go here? Which road are we Okay, you go, Willie. You go. I am the biggest sucker for, like, in a mall. They'll oh, be, God. like, selling lotion. Here like, we go. Here we go. Like, face lotion. I don't even use face lotion. And some person will be like, oh, this is the best thing. Like, takes out wrinkles. I don't even have wrinkles. I'm 23. Oh, this is so good. I'm like, buying it, duh. <laughs> I get a whole box, 100, 100 bucks. They're like, oh, I'll knock it down 75. I'm like, oh, saving money. And all- I get it. <laughs> Don't even use it. Throw it out. I'm like, that was the dumbest thing ever. And at this point, all I want to do is get out of this darn mall. And Willie's yeah. stopping and, you know, talking to, you know, Jane Doe about, oh my you know, God. special hand soap. Like, just the other other week, okay, this is prime example. Perfect I'm example. back hurt on, and they go on a road <laughs> trip. I'm by myself, vulnerable. So, like, Somehow, the Verizon people, they knew he they was alone. They must have known I was, I was by myself. And we didn't have cable at the time. But we had Comcast. Like, we were with a, a company already for internet. Yes. And stuff. 
We were set up for internet, but yes. no cable. So we had internet, no cable. <laughs> Buddy comes to the door. He's like, what's your cable? And I'm like, oh, we're with Comcast. We don't have cable right now. And I'm like, right before, I'm like swinging a golf club and I'm so bored. Like, oh, I'd love to have cable. And then Buddy shows up. Next thing you know, I'm in deep. Bought Verizon. Now we have Verizon Wi-Fi, cable, we got and Comcast, cam- Comcast cable. Yeah. So like, Willie's tech. I'm on the road. Like I got no backbone. And I'm getting texts from Willie. Help, help yeah. me, <laughs> help. And then a missed call. Help me. I'm trapped. Help me. Yeah. Like like all separate texts. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah. Call him. He goes, Hobbsy, I screwed up. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, just start from the beginning. We got Verizon, too, now. Yeah. And we got both now. Okay, but in the end, it worked out because the Comcast couldn't hook up to... Yes. So we couldn't get cable right at the start. That's another story. And then, so now we got Verizon. And you know what? The guy who came over, absolute beauty. Beauty, yeah. Cool Unreal. guy. Really cool guy. Helped us out. Hooked all our stuff up. Yeah. So Really smart. It so ended up working out, but... Yeah. Lesson we've learned... If anybody tries to sell you something, buying it. Buying it. Oh man, you could sell Those pretty much cookies. anything to Willie. You Shorts. guarantee It's just nothing. the stupidest stuff. I could guarantee it. He's about he his guarantee evil? is about twenty five percent. Like like I will guarantee something I think is true and I'm totally wrong. And how do you argue a hundred percent guarantee? Yeah, like, like I'm telling Willie I'm hundred percent right. Like how and do you argue like, okay. that? You know? You can't. You can't so argue now I have 100%. no credibility at all. I can't be trusted, you know. He's working his way back up, though. I, I've been hot lately. The last yep. couple of times, I've been right. Yeah, he's been good. He's been getting there. But, uh, yeah, I started off slow. Oh, my Lord. I'm I to determine if the mustache, like, helps the, the yeah, 100% I'm, I'm, guarantee or hurts it. Like, can I trust you more with that stash? Or oh, I'm getting chirped less? all over the map for this thing. It's okay, I, though. I roll with the punches. You know, I'm like Rocky. Are you no. gonna do start curling it here? I told him to do that. Uh it's a lot of work. Uh, it's enough work to have to keep this like clean, like the rest of my face and just the mustache. I don't know if I can be waking up and waxing my mustache, you know. And how I look, often do you shave? Like how every often? every couple days. Couple days. Yeah, like this morning I had to shave. So then it'll be like pretty good so on friday like on the weekend i'll have like greasiness on my face if i don't take care of it if you were with one of those old school teams that told you you had to shave like every morning like because there's bridgeport yeah like chris pork's clean shaven right now like 100 percent. he looks so different like that too. i'd be yeah. fine You'd be with it? You'd shave every morning? You'd it'd be a early, struggle for me i mean it takes me about a month to grow my mustache <laughs> my mustache so. is tough for me too that's why i didn't even or try, anything but. really just yeah by five o'clock i got the really good shadow going on and like i just would like to take a day off every now and then yeah they told me no you got to be 100 percent like really good razor that'd be tough see like this is from the start of the month my right. ch- well, like you can't days. you can't see it but yeah like this little you stuff just got a little little stubble every maybe maybe no you shave this stuff this yeah. was longer before. Okay, maybe. But it, it takes probably about cheeks, cheeks for those cheeks out there again. listening. Oh, yeah. yeah. The cheeks and like the you, chin. You clean that up. Takes, yeah, a little bit. But it, it probably takes like a week to oh, get man. anything. That's a blessing, dude. Seriously, this sucks having all this hair. You know? Yeah, but you got the step in the bottom. You're going to win. You got, you got the November. No, I can't accept it because guys are, guys are angry. So who's going to get Yeah, you who's, accept your fate. there? I mean... Who in the room has got a good one? Hulak's got a pretty good one. Hulak's got a good he's one, yeah. The, he's got the handlebars going now a little bit. Barb's cheated oh, yeah. also. Bar- Barb's has a good one, too. Did he cheat? Yeah, he did. Okay. He's out. I don't know if I'd call it cheating, though. Like, wah, wah, wah. Like, so so what? My mustache is thick. Like, I'm in your boat, though. This is this is, this is is before the month. So there it's you go. It's sad, but it's before the month, and I'm growing it. I'm not having anything here in the middle of my nose here, but... I guess the main point of it is to raise awareness. Raise, raise awareness. awareness, yeah. Movember. So I mean, men's so mental health counts. The effort. So yep. I mean, yeah, it's Absolutely. all for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Those people have to live with it a lot longer than we have to live with the mustaches. So that's true. There you go. There we go. That's true. So I think you can handle a month of that. Oh man, it's tough there. sometimes. Like I'm getting food in my must. I don't know how, like Lanny McDonald. I don't know how those guys, <laughs> you know. Magnum P.I., Burt Reynolds. 
mustache guys. You know, I don't know. Mitch Lamoureux on the air, and that's you know, it's a little different audience on the radio. Called it a male gigolo mustache that kind of Hobbs was rocking. <laughs> Do you know said about Hobbsy? That's what Mitch Lamoureux. So on I've the been air. called the old bears great. So I've been called a gigolo, an '80s adult film star. That was a good word for it. Yeah, I didn't know how to say it on the well podcast. Done. Well done. Thank good, you. Good aversion. We're keeping our PG rating here. Uh, what was the other one? Somebody called me something really hurtful the other day. I can't remember what it was. I blacked it out. Thick skin. I'm not sure. I, but I you know what? I don't care. If they hate, then let them hate. Just uh, every, them hate. I was saying to this Hobbs the other day, like every picture our photographer seemed to get this month with him in the stash, he's also got the tongue out. Like. In deep concentrate, just like every picture of Willie, his mouth guard isn't in his mouth. Every picture, no oh, matter yeah. what we go through, never in his mouth. It's always chomping on it. Hobbsy, has got the tongue out and like everything right now. You're some, just... blowing some bubbles this weekend, though. Yeah, I saw a cool. I actually posted Instagram yesterday. <laughs> blowing Ooh. bubbles. Self. Showtime. Self plug. Showtime. Are you going to throw your Instagram handle? Self plug. Okay. Easy, buddy. I'm just joking. Man, I got a low self esteem, right? I got to be posting Instagrams. <laughs> All right. Oh, here comes the pity party. <laughs> <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> Actually, when we were at the Booster Club speaking about, you said something earlier about that we're always at each other. They said that we fight like, what? Brothers. brothers. Somebody calls us brothers. Yeah. Are you guys brothers? We're like, what? Because we fight like brothers, apparently. You're the but older... that's kind of how it is. Like, You're the older brother, though. A hundred percent. Well, I mean, factually, I am. Yeah, you're older. But, 100% you know, guarantee. More mature. Yeah, this is you know. 100% guarantee. That's 100%. Yeah. I think it's true, though. I mean, because just the story you told me about when Hobbsy came in in the trade, like, you hated the guy before you. No, no, him. no. Like brother. <laughs> See, that is such a fib. Okay. Ho- so where did it come from? Hobbsy. Okay. All right. That's a, ho- a Hobbsy ho- story. All yeah. right. Yes. Here okay. We go. I admit, I admit, it was a tough time. They traded away four of my best buddies i've been playing together for like six years okay that's exaggerated uh we were drafted in like 2010 when did you get traded 2015 uh, no yeah dude anyways playing together with all those guys you guys all played as 16 year olds in the dub no but like camps spring camps all well, these guys are in the america wow well, so we well, i didn't play as a 16 year old but anyways I played a couple games. A couple games as a 15-year-old, too. So I've been around. <laughs> Anyways, that's not the point. That's not the point of the that's story. Not the point. Yeah. Anyways, so all best buddies get traded. It's a big ordeal. Like, guys crying. Yeah. Whatever. Coaches crying. Like, it was it was a big ordeal. Anyways, got this young kid coming in here. And uh, they put him right beside me in the stalls, in the locker room. D partners. And, and he uh, hates me. No, I, it just, it took me maybe a little bit because Hobbsy comes in a little hot. Like he is a big personality, you know, uh, very vocal <laughs> and I'm trying to get over the, whatever, maybe the, the, pain. Hang, the hangover stage, I guess you could say about your, all your buddies being traded away. Cause that's hard. And yeah. he forms this opinion on his own about how I hated <laughs> him, said I didn't talk to him. That's true. That. Dude, you looked at me like I just killed your dog. No, that is subconsciously. Like, it was like, it was just a disgust. You looked at me and you were, you saw your buddies that were all gone, and I was, I felt horrible. <laughs> I was just like, maybe for the first couple of days, I, I felt terrible. But about it. I liked them right away. We gelled, we played great together, and that's true. I guess it worked out for the best. Yeah, and look at that. Now we're now we're here. And then we somehow got drafted to the same team. Same, same draft team, same year. year. And that's weird. You're now hosting a podcast. And look and at that. Look it at all that. comes now full circle. Wow. Roommates hosting uh the trade, the worst thing that happened turned out all right, <laughs> I guess. I mean, yeah. That was probably the best thing for me ever though. Who, who the best trade for me that? too. guys in the league. Burroughs was in that. Burroughs. Port, right? So Hunt. Yep, uh, yep, Dryden Hunt. We just saw him the field. Klimchuk. Or he was in a different trade, but the same, like, yeah, rebuild. Um, Connor Braden, Gay. Connor Gay, he plays U of S in uh, Saskatchewan. Um, Braden Christopher stayed. He was one of the guys who didn't get traded, and he plays in Bakersfield. What a beauty. Unreal guy. That, that guy's awesome. So, uh, yeah. Aaron Macklin, he was on that team. 
We're just dropping names yeah, now. Yeah, dropping now. But, um, yeah, those are the main guys who are, who are still playing that uh, are in the trade. Yeah. And then, and what, where you were coming from with you were with Louis for yeah. a brief amount. Yeah, I was. I played with Louis for a little while. That's a story for another time. We're gonna have Louis on the podcast at one point. Yeah, yeah, be, uh, he's gonna be on the Grizzly and Gorilla debate. <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's Gorilla. Wrong, he's Gorilla. He's on the wrong side of that. So that's that's a whole other story. Well, yeah. we've teased some pretty good podcasts coming up here, yeah, gentlemen. This is a little longer than twenty minutes, but you know, I'm not surprised. How long is it? How long have we been I on? Think, here? I think we're coming up on forty five minutes. Oh my lord! Yeah. Ooh. So we got a double feature for you on the first show, everybody. Cool. Well, I right. Hope you enjoy it, well, gentlemen. Thank you so much for the first episode. Hey. It's yeah. been fun. It uh, what are you hopefully, do uh, today? hopefully, a couple more episodes to come and into the future. I think we'll get more comfortable too as it goes on. Yeah, it's a little tough to know. Might At flow first. a little better. It'll flow better. with our hand hand signals. Yeah, we'll right. get used to. And it. We'll, and people will understand what you're talking about. We're not saying check this thing out. And we're all yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kyle and I'll be a little more out. We'll have guests in to hear from the guys. I mean, well, who's our first guest? Do are we going to give that away on this cat podcast? Have you, have you booked one yet? That's your job. Oh, that's us? Yeah. yeah you guys oh, we're just finding out new jobs. Okay. Well, we will think of someone and maybe Fish will tweet it or something. Or there you go. Kyle will tweet that it. Somebody will tweet it. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for listening. Peace.